Alan, is this still playing? Yes, son. Get on. Get on. Get Viewfinder. Today here in for a treat. We're doing Klein Tafelberg 4x4 route near Redlinghuis. And guys, this is a spectacular route. The views are amazing. The obstacles are a great challenge for you and your vehicle. You don't need an extremely modified vehicle. You just need your standard vehicle. You should be able to do most of the, the obstacles. Um, for the toughest ones, there is a way to go around. And that's besides the point, I think it is. Folks, if you've got a long weekend or you've got some time on your hands and you want to go, go, up, go somewhere completely out of cellular range and just be one with nature with you and your 4x4, this is definitely a place to come to. It's not rated no, SS number one best route or nothing. It's really it's something to be old. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alright folks, so Klein Tafelberg is located near Riedlingheis, uh, which is about two hours drive from Cape Town. Um, you take the N7 and near Piketberg, you take the turn off and you can either go around the southern side of the mountain or the northern side of the mountain uh, to reach there. Just a little tip who wants you to gravel slant sand road, uh, do deflate your tires, uh, it just makes the ride a little bit more comfortable. Also I'll leave a link in the description for the location pin for Klein Alphabet. Alright, so as you can see here, this is the route that you could take, there's uh, a number of well, pathways going off left and right you can either do them yourself or be guided by uh, Uncle Alfie or Wim Franz. Right so um, there's a number of obstacles the ones that are here are just the ones that we did and there are more obstacles to, to do on this uh, Klein Tafelberg and we didn't get to all of them. Heartbreak Hill right at the end we wanted to but we couldn't um, we were running out of time because of the filming and so on but yeah, we're going back for uh, number two, video number two, and we, we will solely tackle the ones that we didn't make this time. And uh, that video is going to be spectacular. Um, the, the Heartbreak Hill is the toughest obstacle to do at Klein Talfelberg, and I think it deserves a video on its own. Right, so first up out of camp, we stopped to deflate the tires. Now Uncle Afi recommends 0.8 to 1 bar. And uh, that should do you good if you've got a standard vehicle or standard tires. A modified vehicle, obviously, that might change. But, yeah, you need to deflate because what's coming up next, it's going to put you through your paces. Um, how's the folks? Tackling the first obstacle, milkshake. You, apparently, for the ladies. <laughs> so, uh, let's get into it.
Ja, genau. Alright folks, so the next one is not as much an obstacle as it is a speed bump. Um, basically you just need to negotiate your line perfectly and you should make it with a standard vehicle and standard clearance. If you're modified however, the line on the right, that one will be a bit more challenging for you as you'll see just now with Albert. I can't do Jan. Jan. Ja, nee, wat makkelijk. Alright folks, time for the next obstacle. Um, this one's called deep slurt and basically it's a sand path with a lot of hidden rocks um, on the sides and in the center man as you can see it's slow going even for a quad uncle i'll be showing us how to do it uh, but for a vehicle first gear low range just let the uh, vehicle do the walking and use the engine braking if you're unsure where the wheels are tracking uh, rather get someone to stand outside and just have a look for you so that you don't uh, unnecessary damage your vehicle or your rims or even your tires. 
um, as I said, these um, stones are hidden. The top part is the toughest part because you can't see over the bonnet. You can't see where you are going. So you really need to analyze the, the path before you get there, before your front wheels get there. But you should be fine. This is, um, it's not that tough. It's just basically um, engine control and um, brake control. And you should make it, just as I said, try to do it slowly. If you, if you do go a little bit fast, you're, you're especially with IFS, the front part of your vehicle might bounce and you might hit those rocks hidden in the sand below. As you can hear some of these vehicles as they're crossing over this bottom part, um, hitting some of the stones and the rocks down the center. But yeah, this is fun. This is a um, good way to get into practice of, of using your brakes and engine braking at the same time. Right folks, another thing you need to bear in mind, um, you have deflated your tires quite quite a lot, so your clearance will be compromised a little bit, so coming down um, any part of this trail, um, especially on the return path and so on, um, please be aware that you really need to slow down for the rock steps, there's some rock steps that we'll, we'll show you a bit later, but um, with issues like here with the sand, you're still kind of alright because the sand might, sand might dampen the fall. But on the rock steps further on on the track, um, there's, there's no mercy, though when the front part of the vehicle drops down, it will definitely damage the vehicle, um, your underbelly, unless you have bash plates and so on. So bear that in mind and keep safe. Right folks, so after a full day of filming and 4 by 4 we finally reached the top. Now before you break the crescent, there is this little obstacle for you to negotiate. A little last hurrah as it were. And uh, it might look intimidating but it's really not that bad. You just need to keep to the right, first, first gear low range and you should negotiate this pretty, pretty easily. Um, I suppose in the wet this might be a bit of a challenge as it were. But yeah, it's uh, slow going up this little stretch, um, the rocks, a uh, lot of rock steps and so on. But yeah, it's pretty easy to negotiate. Um, this was around 3 o'clock the afternoon, we were having lunch. And uh, yeah, it just shows you what having fun does, eh? But yeah, we park like this. There's a, quite a few places for you to park where you can have a little photo session as it were. Um, or just to uh, have a little braai apparently you can have a braai there as well but yeah folks um, what we're here for is this just look at that view Thank you. 
there folks that concludes our trip to Klint Alphaberg 4x4 um, we had an epic adventure here we had lots of fun it was a long day of filming um, we didn't even get to all the obstacles or get to film all the obstacles but uh, I think those obstacles remaining deserve an episode on their own that's why we will be returning perhaps in next year somewhere again to have a look at these obstacles and make another episode of that for you um, to just showcase to you what this place has to offer it's truly an amazing place to come and visit the peace and quiet the tranquility uh, is just something to admire um, even here there's a big mountain here to the side where there are uh, eagles and stuff that are being looked after by by people in the by locals in the area and there's so much to see and do here besides just doing the 4x4ing the uh, accommodation is is amazing we had uh, very cozy everything is there that you need so definitely worth paying this place a visit i'd also like to thank alan ramon albert and the guys and my father and my brother as well who joined us for this trip um, you guys helped a lot um, your patience uh, is well appreciated because uh, what was supposed to be a two hour route ended up being the whole day thing um, and you guys were awesome and very helpful so thanks to you guys and to the viewers and subscribers out there I really appreciate you watching every time and uh, subscribing to my channel and I hope to be able to keep this up and to keep giving you more and better and greater videos for you to watch and lastly I'd like to thank Wim Alfie, Wim Frans, Danny Giersi uh, for welcoming us here and making us feel special and appreciated and Guys, um, I really wish the best for you forward uh, on, on this place. You're really doing an amazing job here. And can't wait to see you guys again. So yeah, folks, until next time, happy 4 by 4 